Hey YouTube, welcome to TCT and the Crazy Troll Nation. If this is not your first time here, thank you for coming back. If this is your first time here, uh, welcome. And I do hope that you enjoy craziness and goofiness and silliness and various topics. I'm doing this because I am sweating like crazy and I did put on setting spray and I'm just trying to take away some of the shine so I don't look crazier than I am in this video. This video is about the things that I am loving still from BoxyCharm products that I've received this year. I've only been um, with BoxyCharm since January. So what I am still loving and a couple products where I like, no. So the one product that I thought I was going to like and that I hoped I liked is the Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil from Wander Beauty. This it smells like a bouquet of roses and for those of you who don't know I am sensitive to fragrance I am hormonal I get breakouts I get acne I'm 49 years old when is that ever going to end I don't think it will and so I was hesitant to use it and so I said you know what let me just use it and see what it does I really love how it felt on my face the first time I used it it smelled so strong of fragrance that my nose was running my eyes were itching and I'm like this is not going to work um, but I did put it on just a clean face, like no product, no primer, no foundation over top of it or anything. So I said, let me try something different because I really wanted to like it. And so the second time I used it, I waited a few days because my face was around my mouth area and this area here, which has been my problematic area over the last maybe month, <laughs> started to break out again. And it was really red and so the sec I waited a little while and then the second time I used it um, I did my regular skincare routine and I put this on it smelled like a bouquet of roses feels really good on my skin though by the time I put on primer foundation powder and everything I really didn't smell like I was walking through a rose garden so I'm like okay this might be good so when I washed it off that night washed my face that night I did have additional <laughs> little bumps on my chin area and I'm just like ah but it wasn't horrible. So I said, maybe this will be a product I can use maybe a couple times a week and just not every day. And so I waited like a week, tried it again, but then the fragrance was really strong again. So I don't know if it's just a mixture of what I have on my face over top of this or not that causes this to smell really strong sometimes and other times not. But however, I will not continue to use it because it did give me additional breakouts. And so this product was a really iffy one for me and I really did try to make it work. The second product that I'm going to talk about we received months and months ago in BoxyCharm was the Gentle Bubble Glow Glam, sorry, Glam Glow, <laughs> face moisturizer. I mean, not moisturizer, daily conditioning cleanser. I use this every now and then. I keep it in my shower. I, I like how it cleans my face. And just like for now, when I just have one primer, foundation, um, powder, bronzer, this will remove all of that. The thing that I don't like about this is even though it has no added fragrance, and I'm trying to see if it says fragrance free and I don't have one of my reading glasses, but I believe it's no added fragrance, which is great, but it smells, it has like a chemical smell to it. And it really just bothers me to the point where even though I love how this cleans my skin, and my skin does not have any issue with it, I have to be in the mood for the smell. And even after I rinse it off, that smell kind of still lingers. And so even though I do like this product, I find myself not really reaching for it. Now on to another product that's kind of iffy for me, is this was a recent one we, we, we received, the Steve Laurent Lip Pencil. This thing is just so scratchy and you have to I mean, the color is fine, and once you wear it down, it's not as scratchy, but it's just like very pointy. It is not smooth at all. It is like a neutral color for me, so I can wear this with anything. And so I'm on the fence on if I will continue to use this or not, because it's not comfortable to use. <laughs> it actually kind of hurts, especially when I do my actual lip line area. When I fill in, not so much because I'm using the side of it. But when I do, when I outline my lip line, it is just really uncomfortable. I like the color, the color is fine. 
it's just not a creamy pencil. So this one I'm kind of on the fence, but I, I have been using it, but just not that often. What I am loving still is the Dose of Colors lip gloss that we received a little while ago. I cannot see the color. My reading glasses are right here. See, this is what I mean by crazy. <laughs> Alright, so the shade is Talk is Chic. I do like this shade. It goes on very smoothly. I find that when it dries down, my lips do not feel super, super dry. And that's what I like about it. And I love the color. I don't use it often because it is such a bright color and when I do wear eyeshadow, I tend to go for darker eyeshadow looks and so th this color does not always go with the eyeshadow that I'm using that day. But I do really, really like it. I'm trying my hardest to look over in this mirror and not the phone because when I look in the phone it looks like I'm looking over there somewhere and there's a mirror down here so I'm still playing playing around with my setup. Something else that I have been loving for months and I forget when we received it was the Alomar Colorette Blush Trio. This is medium tan. I wear this almost every day when I do makeup and I say almost because now I'm really using um, the Makeup Geek Bronze Baroness Face Palette. I am still just like super shiny and I am like sweating so excuse me and I should I'm gonna actually use this one <laughs> this so what I'll do is well actually I'll use any of these as a blush color this one is really light so sometimes I'll mix them sometimes I'll just use this middle color sometimes I'll use that color and now I'm not gonna add any more on this is the Makeup Geek stuff on my face. But this I am loving. So this in the Makeup Geek palette, these are the only blush palettes I have right now and I am getting a lot of use out of this. Absolutely love it. Another product that I am really liking, and we received this last month, was the Becca Hydra Mist. Put on my glasses, like what is wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I like this powder because, yes, it does have a cooling effect, which feels really good, and I can just sit there and just keep dipping in and going on and on. It does not ever make my face look powdery. It never looks cakey. And it does not change the color of my foundation, which means I can use this to set under my eye without worrying about my under eye discoloration being more prominent than it sometimes is. Sometimes it's not so bad, sometimes it's like horrible. It depends on my level of tanness, because the more tan my face is, the less discoloration is noticeable under my eyes. Did that sentence make sense? But I am loving <laughs> this setting powder. The other thing I'm on the fence about, but I use it almost every time I do eyeshadow, is the Luxie foundation brush that we received. It came in a three-piece brush set. This, Okay, I'll say why I don't like it first. I don't like it because one side feels really soft and the other side, it feels like there's plastic strands in here. Like it's something that's not smooth and it's only on this one side and I can't really pinpoint, okay, which hairs is it or which synthetic fibers is it that feels plasticky. And so it's not smooth and it just feels weird and that I don't like. The other side is really fine. But what I love this for is, and I'm going to show you even though I probably won't put on any eyeshadow. This is the Fenty eyeshadow primer. I love the applicator on this thing. No, the, no we did not get this from BoxyCharm. This is what I love this Luxie foundation brush for. It fits over... <laughs> my entire lid space whenever i wear eyeshadow i put on that primer and i use this brush i cannot talk and do makeup at the same time and i use this brush to blend out 
the eye primer and it does blend it all over and this is a tacky primer so it's easy to tell if I missed a spot I never miss a spot with this brush I mean look at this you see all this and I hate to say lid space because it's really not because I have like all of this space up here which is not my lid my lid is just this tiny little bit down here um slightly hooded eyes I call them but look at this this fits <laughs> like almost across my entire eye except for like up here so then I'll just do down here first and then I'll just come up a little bit to make sure that I'm getting under my brow bone so I love this brush for that don't love how the one side feels but I use this every time I do eyeshadow and so that is it for this video thank you guys for watching and you will see me in the next video thanks bye oh let me know what products you're still loving from what we've received over BoxyCharm throughout this year and Maybe throw in a few of what you don't like and why. But thank you. Bye, guys.